Hey, Nick Fitton with TickerTank.com here. Just wanted to real quick go over how to analyze probability of success, you know, how to set up a trade altogether, a, a vertical spread in particular, in uh, in the Thinkorswim trading platform. Got a lot of requests for this, so here we go. Let's just say theoretically, we're looking here at this SPY one-year chart, is the S&P ETF, and uh, you see here we've got this 200-day exponential moving average, this pink line, and you know we're We've broken through the top of this recent range resistance here, but you know, so so here's the range resistance. So we see that, and you know, that's that's a bullish signal that we've broken through there. But you know, we do have this 200-day uh, exponential moving average that it's been fighting with. You know, we've seen some selling pressure there. Couple that with the fact that there's quite a bit of uh, potential support turn resistance just above that price point at around 126 80 127 range so let's say that we are expecting spy to you know most likely stay at bay here at this 200 day exponential moving average but uh, worst case move up towards this 127 resistance level and then start meeting even further resistance so we just think there's a lot of uh, you know reasons for this rally to kind of pause maybe take a little bit of a breather or maybe even see some downside pressure here so we'd want to say we don't think SPY is going to get at or above 127 here in the next, uh, you know, before November expiration. In that case, we'd be looking at putting on a 127 call spread. So you switch over here to your trade screen in TOS, and we've already got November options expanded, but you, know, you, you type in SPY up here at the top, and it's going to bring up this chain, this options chains. What you do is you expand the November which it shows you right here there's 23 days until expiration so we've got 23 days until the third Friday in November and you show we're seeing here the single options what you want to do is change it to vertical makes it much easier and we'd be looking at a bear call spread so we'd want to sell so we're looking at the call side of the column here and a bear call spread means you're selling the spread so we'd want to click on the bid of this particular 127, 128 call spread. What that does is it brings it brings the order up down here, and you know, it shows you the mid is currently 41, the nat is 40. That just means that you'll definitely get filled at 40. You can work it at 41, and you're, you'll probably get filled, but it might not be immediate. You might have to be a little patient. So to do, to analyze the trade, what we do is right click on this trade right down here, and click analyze duplicate trade. I've got a lot of spy action going on here, so let's try and ignore everything else. The only box that's checked is this box down here at the bottom, and this is our vertical where we're selling one spy November 11, 127 call, buying one spy November 11, 128 call. And we're doing that, current price says 40, 42, we'll just push it down to 40. Alright, so let's pretend like it's a 40, which is pretty much a guaranteed fill at this point. Up here at the top, you've got your risk plot profile, and this is reflecting um, this particular spread, the SPY 127-128 bear call spread. The first thing I always do is I go up here to the probability date, and I make sure that the third Friday is selected. Actually, I go to the third Saturday because that just ensures that every all the premium is out of the uh, out of the equation. Then I go here to set slices and go down to break even and select that 1119 expiration date. What that does is it puts this slice right on your break even point. So you can see here, let's expand this a little bit. All right, so what you can see is this red line represents what this spread looks like on November expiration, which is November 19th. This white line is the more real time line. And right here, this little tick right here is the current price of SPY. So what you can see here is this white dotted line that's just horizontal across the screen here is your zero line. Anything above that is profit. Anything below that is a loss. So your y-axis here shows your profit and loss. Your x-axis shows the price of SPY, so the price point in SPY. And basically what this, what this does is it gives you a real quick look at a couple things. When we set the probability date to... To, uh, sorry about that. We set the probability date to November 19th and then set our slice to that 
break even on probability expiration or on uh, November expiration, it immediately gives you your probabilities. So over here at the top left, you can see we have a 63.86% probability of break even or better, and a 36.26% chance of break even or worse. So you know the probability is tilted in your favor. You have 60. 63% in your favor, 64% give or take in your favor. You can see you have quite a bit of cushion here in this particular spread. And uh, second, you can kind of go here and get a quick glance at your profit loss scenario. So you can see here at or below 127, you are capped off at your max gain of $40, which is the credit received per spread that you sell here. So at or below 127, max gain $40 on expiration. As you go above 127, your gains begin to diminish until you hit your break-even point. In this case, 127.40 is the break-even. And if you go above 127.40, you start seeing some losses until your losses are bottomed out there at 60. So you have defined risk of $60 per spread in this case and defined gain, defined profit of $40 per spread. So it just gives you a nice, easy, quick visual of your uh, max gain, max loss, break-even point, probability of success, probability of break-even or worse, and uh, it's just you know, a great tool to utilize when analyzing vertical spreads.